Hello, this is Paul from Quick and Mobile, and what we're going to be doing today is giving you an overview of our Electra 7 power folding wheelchair. First and foremost, the Electra 7, as you can see, very easy to maneuver. The chair is in freewheel mode, not power mode. Easy to work with, easy to maneuver. We're going to point out some of the features here, starting out with one of the things that makes this chair more unique than any other power folding wheelchair that's available today. First and foremost, this chair right here that you see holds up to 400 pounds. Common heavy duty chairs that are lightweight and folding, you might see them topping out at about maybe 300, 330 pounds, some of them as little as 280 pounds. Not this one, this one tops out at 400 pounds. Additionally, one of the other key components, especially of interest for people that would weigh above 300 pounds, is that you have 21 inches of space in between the armrests. That right there makes this chair right here completely unique to any other power folding wheelchair. You will not find another chair specialized from the factory that holds up to 400 pounds that has up to, to or that has 21 inches of space in between the armrests. So moving on, let's take a look at how simple it is to fold the chair up. But before we fold the chair up, what I want to do is point out some of the components in the actual back of the chair here. So you can see that we do have actually the Dura shocking system. So this particular chair with the Dura shocking system and how this is designed is designed to absorb energy and impact from the surface. You can see where we would be driving right here, a nice rocky area or concrete. No problem at all with the Dura shocking system. And right here we have two little knobs or two little levers. You can see how the wheels right here are moving. By the way, these are 12 inch solid polyurethane tires. You can see that these are not gray rubber tires. The gray models tend to wear out very quickly. We will not work with products that are shoddy quality, so you won't see the gray tires here. Only high quality black polyurethane blend with no tubes. So we'll go ahead and take a look here. We pop the, uh, pop the switch to allow it to go ahead and be folded. And if I wanna lock the chair, all I need to do is turn those two switches and now this is an electric power folding wheelchair. So the electric component will not work in freewheel mode where you can push the actual chair and you can't push the chair when it's actually an electric chair. So let's not worry about that too much. Let's see how simple it is to actually fold the chair. So on a sideways view, all that you're going to do to fold the chair is just simply grab the footrest and there you go. Less than a second to fold the chair up and this chair we're looking at right here with two batteries, two chargeable lithium ion batteries, very easy to remove, four pounds a piece, airline friendly FDA travel approved batteries. They fit actually basically right into the body or the uh, kind of like the arms or support mechanism of the chair. So you don't have to bend over and get the batteries back from behind the chair, which is very common and some of the other chairs. The only thing that you can do here is latch the chair and make it an electric chair and not an actual push wheelchair. A couple things I wanna point out actually in the back of the chair that might be relatively small things, but they're actually big things and they make a big difference. We made a video at one point in time where we got a hold of a competitor's chair and you could see in the competitor's chair there was just absolute damage to the screws. And the competitor's chair was of course an unmarked chair. It looked similar to the body style of the Eagle or the Electra 7. But within about eight months, these components were stripped and completely, completely destroyed, effectively destroying the chair. And if you really get into some of the fine print of some of the other companies and what they will do with their warranty, they might cover the frame but these parts of the frame, the screws, is, in pardon my French, where they screw you because if those are corroded, that's not actually part of the frame and that can destroy your chair entirely. 
Not here, not with the Eagle, not with the Electra 7, not with the Airhawk. Quality chairs. So again, we're gonna go ahead and fold this chair up. See how easy it is to fold the chair up. We're gonna take a look at the sideways view of the chair here. And we look at the actual thickness. This is only 13 inches thick, 13 inches deep, and that's about it. Now, if I want to actually pull the chair behind me, like I would in an airport, or if I want to put this chair away, I can go ahead and put the chair into freewheel mode, fold the chair up, grab the footrest, and pull the chair right behind me. It is completely flexible, gives me total power to do just about anything I want. Now, if we actually take a little bit closer of a look while the chair is folded up, there's a couple more things that I want to point out here. First and foremost, the chair has multiple safety features, such as the reflective tape right here, and the casters. Let's take a look at the casters over here. Look at the reinforcement here. These chairs are made from aircrafted aluminum, or aircraft quality aluminum, very, very strong aluminum. If you've ever been in a plane or an airplane, those are aluminum vessels as well, just like this. And you can see that we have heavily reinforced casters. And if we take a, a little bit closer of a look at the weld points, I can't tell you how many people that have actually received these chairs that have actually been in a career where they have something to do with welding have complimented. Look at those weld points. Look at, look at the quality of workmanship that goes along with these chairs. Very, very high quality chairs, very high quality components. And we're gonna unfold the chair and I wanna point out a couple more things and then we're gonna go ahead and fire up the joystick. So to unfold it, if I don't wanna do it the fancy way, I'm just very simply going to grab the footrest I'm grabbing the back of the chair, I'm pushing it forward, and I'm just pulling my hand back. Look at that, less than a second. The chair is unfolded. The chair is ready to roll here. So with this chair, and, and of course the next couple things that I'm going to speak about are probably extremely important because one of the common questions that we get, especially from people that used to own the heavy duty power chairs, the big heavy things that you need a hydraulic lift to lift up is what happens if there's an issue? What happens if the chair actually breaks down? Well, we do offer a two year warranty. First year is parts and service. Second year is parts only. But let's take a look at this chair. What could actually break with this chair? We have the two 250 watt motors right here. We have the brain of the actual chair, and we have the joystick. So we're not looking at a chair. Do you have a bunch of different small metalsome moving parts that can break? There's not a lot of things that can break. And we stock all of the parts in our United States warehouse. So unlike the companies that sell their wares on Amazon.com and other websites, you have to really take a look at this. I don't wanna speak for every company, but a lot of the companies that are on amazon.com, you don't get the opportunity to pick up the telephone and to actually speak with the real live human being like you do a quick and mobile. Our telephone number is 888-701-8799 or you can look actually below this video in the comments in the description section and take a look at our actual product page and the telephone number. Notice how I just put the chair in power mode. We're going to take a look at the joystick next and I want to point out a couple things about this joystick. The joystick is weather resistant. Weather resistant means that if you get stuck in the rain, no big deal. If you're planning on going out and taking a look at this beautiful water that we have behind us while we're actually making this video, that's a no-no. The chair doesn't go underwater, doesn't go in a lake, etc., etc. But if you're on dry land, like just about everybody else who wants to use the chair, this button turns the joystick on. You're going to see that I have three reds, I have three orange, or three greens, three orange, and one red. This will slowly disappear as the battery wears out, and here is the speed adjuster here, so I can have multiple adjustments with the speed. I can go very slow, or I can go very quickly, and having a frame that's only 24 inches wide, despite having a full 21 inches of seating space, 
in between the arms allows you to utilize this as a perfect indoor chair even in an older house that would have thin doorways or narrow hallways. The turning radius is absolutely amazing. Just with the finger, what I'm going to do, well, I'll actually sit in the chair. It's a great, comfortable chair. We're gonna go ahead and sit in the chair here, and I'm going to go ahead and take it for a little bit of a test drive here. One finger is easy peasy, controls the joystick, and let's just take a look at some of the turning radius. Just with one finger here, so easy to actually turn this chair. I take my finger off, the chair stops. Very easy, get up, rock and roll here, plenty of space. I'm six feet tall, I'm about 200 pounds, and I have a lot of space to spare in this chair, and you can see the turning radius is fantastic. Easy chair to start, easy chair to move, easy chair to stop, and when I'm done, I turn the power off, and if I don't want this in the way here, this footrest, okay, if I don't want this footrest in the way, so easy to move the footrest up and so easy to really, and I'm going to do an exaggeration for getting out, to fully bear my weight down on this chair, every last muscle in my body, every last ounce in my body bearing down on that chair to get out of the chair. So the point being is that I'm certain that most of the people that get this chair are not going to exit the chair like that but you can bear down and put your weight on this chair and it's a sturdy chair. If you need to do a partial side mount or dismount, look at this. All I have to do is turn these switches right here and the arms come up. Take a look at how easy this chair is to get in and get out. The footrest folds up totally flush to the chair. Not too many chairs that are available on the market have a footrest that totally gets out of the way that quickly, that easily, weatherproof basket underneath the chair and both arms of the fold up. So if I need to slide in doing a side transfer in or a side transfer out, look how easy that is. Very easy to work my way around this chair and very easy to actually, once I'm in the chair, just apply a little bit of pressure latch the arms into place and very easy just drop the footrest down turn the chair on and you're off to the races you can go anywhere you want to go with this chair that's outside that has a nice flat surface you can go on the grass that you can see behind us you can travel on a straightaway but i do want to point out for legal purposes in the manual they're going to tell you no grass and they're gonna tell you keep it on the cement. They don't know if you're gonna drive that chair through a rabbit hole and decide that there's a lawsuit. So technically no grass, but the chair functions absolutely marvelously in the grass. And with the brand new chair, we're gonna take a look underneath the basket here and we're gonna see a few components. The chair comes with the safety belt right here. The chair comes with an addendum to the charger, this, uh, this is so exciting. I have to actually take it out. And I have to demonstrate it So let's take a look at this little addendum right here. We can plug this directly into the battery We can charge the batteries outside of the chair entirely So if I want to take this battery out of the chair and charge it I can do it the charger will allow me to plug the charger directly into the front of the joystick You can see a little charging port and I have the ability to go ahead and ch charge both batteries up at the same time. We'll put that battery back there. And of course we have the Electra 7 instruction manual and we basically have every single tool that you would need if you purchased a headrest or another addendum or add-on to affix anything else to the Electra 7. So let's just go ahead and, and again take a look at the actual chair. Quick overview, Electra 7 power folding wheelchair holds up to 400 pounds. Only chair on the market with the full 21 inches of seating area. Visit us, quickandmobile.com, Q-U-I-C-K, and as in Nancy, M-O-B-I-L-E.com, or call us, 888-701-8799. And if there's anything that we didn't touch in this video, you can comment below or call and ask us. We're here to help, Quick and Mobile.